Hello out there, my name is Gunnar Clovis, I'm a game developer, and today I want to play Squid Wars Return of the Tentacle by Avis. I've been working my way through um, their library. Um, yes, yeah, so this was done in 24 hours for the Rouge in a Day game jam. I don't know if that's supposed to be a Rogue in a Day. Um, didn't make the deadline. Play as a wary space captain piloting his small ship in a strange parallel dimension. With nothing nearby but strange aliens, you have no other option than shooting your way out. Will you make it? Alright, uh, pretty simple. Just uh, windows download only. Alright, let's try it out. Okay, I, li I like the menu. Um, I like all the a little rotating art. The art looks really nice. Um, and all these little alien guys circling. Other stuff button. And yeah, new game. The bu buttons look awesome. It's been a very common theme. Um, I can maximize the window. Cool. Um, see if I can full screen it. Awesome. Yeah, I can full screen. Sick. I wish it started full screen. Huh. Right, I was just kind of pressing options and makes the game lag strangely. Um, I don't know why I can press options. Okay, pressing back. All right, there it is. All right, now the game's kind of freaking out. Um, let's try <laughs> shutting it down, relaunching. Because, yeah, I was running well here. Full screen still runs fine. So I was pressing options because I can't... Oh, even just hovering over is bizarre. I don't know why I can do that, but it's making the game lag tremendously. Dang it. Uh, yeah, I don't... Oh, okay, it's bed back up. That was really weird. Oh, and got, it's back. You know, so clearly there's some major optimization problems here. Um, I'm trying to press other stuff. Okay, and opened up a link. Oh, to Avis's website. That's so cool. Ah! Yeah, I've been meaning to do something like that um, in my own work. That's really fantastic. Really, really good right there. But uh, new game. Point and click right mouse to move, left mouse to shoot, kill all the things. Also, this is an upgrade, fly into it. Um, right mouse to move. And it's constantly following, good. Okay, so very tiny. Oh, and I can zoom in. Oh, just like the part sim. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. And yeah, very nice, smooth animation. Oh, yeah, and I died, <laughs> obviously. Um, that is, it starts out at this max zoom, and I feel like I want that just so I can see stuff coming, but everything is so small that it's really hard to see. Um... Especially, like, that's so small, it's kind of hard to shoot. How many hits does this thing take? And yeah, I mean, I, I want to fly this way, but I, I can't shoot and fly at the same time. So it looks like I'm just going to be flying away. I, I am significantly faster than the enemies, it seems. They're taking a lot of shots. I wish they didn't take so many shots. Uh, but very, very pretty. Um, look at those particle effects uh, for the <laughs> for the ship. Particle effects for flying away, those look fantastic. Um, this really nice pixel art. Um, and the music is really, really good. I, I, am, I love this music. Um, I wasn't shooting there for some reason. And yeah, the, the blood particle effects when the um, aliens die look really, really nice. Um, but yeah, the, the game seems uh, pre pretty simple. Um, just kind of this infinite void or pseudo infinite. Maybe it wraps. Maybe it has edges. I, I don't know. Um, and this kind of endless stream of little monsters. Just really simple, uh, kind of standard 2D, uh, top down 2D shooter. But it is really pretty. Like, wow. I love this, the green and blue of the background, how it kind of looks like this layers of clouds. I can't tell if there's any parallax going on. I think there might be. It's hard to tell. Like, it, it looks so pretty and naturalistic. Like, look at those clouds. Those look awesome. Um, but yeah, just kind of running away until I die. 
um, and then trying to shoot guys. Maybe there's another enemy. <sighs> Doesn't seem like it. Um, said that's an upgrade. I don't know if there's more upgrades. Um, there's no real direction. It just seems like an endless void, and I'm just surviving, right? Uh, I presumably seems like a game I would survive for score, but I don't see <laughs> any kind of scoring system. Um, and uh, yeah, there doesn't seem to be okay. Anything to really any objectives otherwise besides surviving or anything to pick up. Um, yeah, so really, like I outrun all of the aliens, so I can just keep flying away indefinitely and ignore them. Um, I don't know if more more spawn purely based on time so that they'd eventually form a big kind of horde um, or if they spawn based on me killing them in, in which case um, none will really spawn as I just run away forever. Um, yeah, it doesn't really seem like there's much of anything to do but this is a really pretty game. Really, really well polished. Um, for 24 hours, really excellent, because look at the camera. Look at how the camera adjusts between how I move the mouse. That is really, really gorgeous. Um, doesn't look like the camera is moving to, yeah, midpoint of the mouse. It looks like it's moving to, um, like, two-thirds distance, um, right, because you see how the player is always staying on screen. If the camera was truly moving to the midpoint of the mouse, um, then the player, my little spaceship, would be in the opposite corner, right? Um, it would always, always end up there. But because if you draw a line between the bottom left corner where my mouse is to the player, um, that line, the player is, yeah, it, it more, more in the middle, middle. Yeah, I would say maybe a third, maybe a fourth or a fifth Away from the edge of the screen it's hard to tell with diagonals of course um so not so definitely not uh the midpoint but that same kind of idea is a really really great way to do your cameras i've seen that in pretty much all of avis's games um and this zoom in feature like with the avis part sim really really beautiful like this is so excellent and it looks gorgeous up close when you can see the detail um i mean it's not like it's complicated it's, it's literally just a triangle with a with a gray triangle with a light blue uh, circle in it uh but still the, it looks pretty it's just some nice pixels and the particle effects for the stream which i can't really seem to bug out like they're just working um those are really pretty and i feel like it looks just as pretty but in a kind of totally different way when it's zoomed out all, um and then and then yeah then just kind of a gradient in between because just this big beautiful massive empty space and these really really gorgeous <laughs> blue green clouds um like i can't even 100 percent tell what's happening with them but they're really gorgeous um yeah incredibly well done uh, for 24 hours, really, really excellent. And the music is fantastic. So something to be proud of for sure. Um, doesn't really look like there's much for me to do, so I will end it here. But thank you for watching, if you did, um, here on the series. I play uh, Itch.io games and try and offer my <laughs> my feedback and critique as a fellow game developer. Um, if you have any games you'd like me to play, please submit them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And otherwise, just have an awesome day. Remember to eat healthy, exercise, uh, respect each other, and goodbye. <laughs>